High school students in Oregon will not need to perform proficiency tests showing mastery of reading, writing or math in order to graduate. While some say the decision will lower state standards and cheapen an Oregon diploma, the Oregon Department of Education tells me this policy simply didn't work and disproportionately harmed students of color. It was one of the toughest things I've ever done. She passed, but the I team found there's growing concern that too few people who look like her are passing too. What the exam is doing is de-diversifying de the profession. Catholic University professor Michael Massey says for years he's seen too many students of color succeed in class but fail the multiple choice licensure exam, which he says fails to capture cultural nuances. And so we have social work, great social workers of color who came to social work schools to serve their communities and they, they're not being allowed to do it despite rigorous preparation at school. Massey's among those who have pushed the Association of Social Work Boards, which for decades has administered the exam to release pass rate data, and the results were stark. Between 2018 and 2021, 76% of white test takers passed the bachelor's level exam the first time, but only 60 percent of Asian test takers did, followed by 53 percent of Hispanic applicants and only 33 percent of black test takers passed that first time. It's easy to say like you could possibly blame the test takers, but I think accountability has to be taken of how the exam is structured. Now Councilman Robert White is behind a bill that would eliminate the exam for entry and master's level licensure applicants. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them.